I realize choices that people make uh, when you said everybody has a whistle. The person who used to work for me when I was at the agency as a senior executive, I did not hear from for years. Not too long ago, this person contacted me. Turns out they had recently retired from the government. They said, Tom, you need to know something. They made it crystal clear that as a result of you and all the publicity in your criminal case and your sentence, that if any of you, anybody at NSA, didn't matter if it's contractor or civilian employee, has any contact with Mr. Drake in any form and that we will be monitoring you, you risk losing your security clearance. And if you lose your security clearance, that is a condition of continuing employment with the National Security Agency. Therefore, you can no longer work here. She was in tears as she shared this with me because she said, I have to be honest with you. I didn't want to jeopardize my job or my retirement. So I'm well aware of choices people make. At least she had the honesty to tell me why I had not heard from her in many years. On an even more serious level than that, um, another reason people might not want to be supported outwardly or get involved is because a number of us who have been supportive of Snowden, whether it's the journalists who've been reporting out his disclosures or attorneys like me representing them, um, have been accused of aiding and abetting him or of being co-conspirators. And um, that is raising supporting a whistleblower to the level of criminality. And a few days ago, Barack Obama um, issued an executive order that anyone who assisted anyone accused of espionage um, would be guilty of a crime. So suddenly I had an influx of calls, like I'm trying to give money to Chelsea Manning to have gender reassignment surgery. I'm trying to give money to Edward Snowden's defense fund, but I don't want to be charged with material support of terrorism or with violating this executive order. Um, so the short answer is you can contribute through Bitcoin um, and there are other ways to safely still fund people. But um, it also shows how high the stakes are for the people just willing to come out and be supportive. Um, and I'm not defending silence, I'm just trying to uh, explain some of the reasons um, why people might be quiet. I was fortunate in that a lot of my CIA colleagues reached out to me. I got an email from a retired um, ADCI, uh, Associate, Deputy, or Associate Director of Central Intelligence. And he said um, that I had chosen a, a tough road, but he said, I wish I had had the balls to do it. I'm glad somebody did. And, and my wife and I have commented to each other on this a number of times. I can count on one hand the number of friends who walked away from me in this, this whole nightmare. 